Hey guys, we're uh, going to be installing the uh, Simtine Street Bases Z coilovers today on my Mazda RX-8. Obviously the uh, first step is uh, get the car on jack stands, take the, uh, take the wheels off, and uh, get it up nice and high so you got a lot of room to work with. Here on the front side, the first thing you're going to want to do is you've got your strut brace across the top. Um, you can see over here where the rats have gotten in my car and chewed up my insulation. That's fun. Um, but you've got uh, two nuts on each side, uh, 12 millimeter that you take off. And then once you've got those off, you can just lift it up, take it off. Now that we have the strut brace out and the bolts off there, then we've got three 14 millimeter bolts around here. Then we gotta take those off. Take those off first. And then we're going to support, support the hub from the bottom. There's a bolt down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see. And I'm just gonna take this off. There's a bolt down below. You can use that to support with your jack and uh, I have an awesome jack here it's very special and basically you'll load this suspension up so that when you unbolt this 17 millimeter and this 17 millimeter um, it should come out much easier and not put any strain on those bushings so you get those out and then there's another 17 millimeter back here that holds the, uh, the shirt on. And uh, once we get all those off, uh, to be able to tilt all this forward and pull it out. So what, now that we've got the strut bar off, we're gonna get these three 14 millimeter bolts and take those off. You have an impact wrench. This is much, much easier. Give that tray, you know, that metal one. Right, my bad. This one's a little tight. All right. All right. So once we got those off, then we're gonna come down here. We've got the suspension loaded. Okay. So we're gonna get our breaker bar. So we've got uh, our top A arm. Uh, 17 millimeter here and 17 millimeter on the other side over here. And uh, so I'll get those off. And Canal, if you want to get the ratchet, okay. I think that one should be good to go. And then we'll break, break this guy loose over here. So the other thing you might want to consider is on the back side here, I don't know if you can see down here, Mo, the lighting's going to be awful, but there's a 12 millimeter bolt down here where my thumb is, and uh, that connects your ABS sensor, and once we take these, this A-arm off, it's going to all want to pull this way, and you don't want that line to get pinched or pull on it, um, so if you take that off, it should help. All right, so you got that bolt off. Yes, All right, so you can kind of let that hang loose back here. Um, give it some slack. All right, now we're gonna get this bolt out all the way. And then once you do that, this whole A-arm assembly can pull out. Gives you some flexibility. Um, before we drop the suspension, I'm gonna hit this with the impact real quick to loosen up the suspension bolt. A lower strut bolt. So we'll do 17 millimeter. What did you not take this off? Down here. Alright. Now we can 
we'll lower our jack stand down. Well, someone, let me go down there and I need to hold this up because it's going to... Well, the bolt's still in there. Which one? In the, uh, it's still in here. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you yeah, removed yeah. it. No, I don't think he was able to remove all of it. Okay. Alright, get the jack stand out of the way. So now, we got to get this bolt out, which can be a little stubborn. Um, if you push down on the hub assembly and kind of pry it out with a screwdriver, I think that's what we found to work the best based on our previous experience. Yes, moving. Slowly but surely. Doesn't seem like I'm moving it at all. Right now it's not moving, man. It was first few hit. But now it, it really isn't doing anything. It's a tight space. It's a very tight space, definitely. I'm sure somebody out there has a better idea of a way to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, moving. I think it maxed out your reality. It maxed out. Damn it! I need my magnet to get it out of there now. <laughs> there it is. Oh wow. Can we get a longer one? We have a long one? Oh man. Man, I got it! You got it? Yeah. Holy mother of God! Oh, see? Finally this stubborn. Good job. Wow, no oh, lord. Wow. Damn. Damn. Alright. Well that was the hard part. So, now to get this out. Push down on the hub. And this is gonna drop down. I'm gonna let you do that and and hold the All right. shock. So as soon as, you, as soon as you put some pressure down on this, it should drop like that. And then what you can do is you pull this A arm up, kind of drop that down I mean, through there, wiggle it out of there. I'm gonna put a screw over here. Yeah, then you wanna put a bolt back in the A arm to hold it in place. So just kinda in there a little bit if you can line up the hole. Now, we use the spring compressors on this bad boy. I think it's gonna help us. Huh. What size is that? You're gonna help us, right Hank? If you haven't used spring compressors before, um, it's kind of terrifying. Because if you don't do it right, you can like... Injure yourself. Injure yourself pretty badly. So, Or shoot someone. Luckily I got a brand new uh, set from AutoZone to rent. It's still in the plastic packaging, so... At least all of the components are here and it hasn't been used yet until we used it. So, But basically, you uh, lock on kind of as far out as possible on the spring. And then you put these pins down there to secure it. And then you tighten that up. And this is where if you've got an impact wrench, you can save a lot of time too. Um, otherwise, you got to use a ratchet to tighten these down. But get that until it's tight. And then... Uh, You've got, so you've got two sets, or a pair, I guess. And you want to set these as close to 180 degrees apart as possible. Um, so that there is uniform compression going on. Exactly, yeah. And you want to alternate back and forth between tightening one side and then tightening the other. Other side on. So this side moves freely, and that's the side you, you tighten on. Uh, I found it's better to go from the bottom. It gives you more clearance for impact wrench. So you go roughly 180 degrees there. Lock your pins in. And tighten this guy up. So then, once both of these are tied on there, just do it a little bit at a time. I'll alternate back and forth. I can get it from here. Huh? Basically what you're looking for is when this top spring part breaks away from the, uh, the top hat, then it's loose. Alright, so you 
can see it separated from the bottom there. So it's got a little wiggle. Um, you can go tighter if you want, um, but as long as it's loose on there, you should be good to go. So now, um, let's see how the spring compressor's on there. Just make sure, treat this carefully because it's like a loaded bomb basically. I think a five millimeter Allen. Um, so that goes in the top. And uh, then you get a 17 millimeter open box wrench. Slips over top there. And a ratchet. Oh, I think, did that break it? No, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got the ratchet on there. That'll loosen this bolt up. You just hold it steady with the, the box wrench. <laughs> oh, all right. So, top hat or the I'm sorry, the top nut comes off. Um, for this set, you don't need to reuse that. You can trash it, and then you've got your top uh, washer. Hang out to that um, uh, bushing, and then take the shock out from the bottom. And inside here is where all your other components are going to be uh, tucked away in there. And uh, pull this out and try and catch everything. So that's the existing bump stop and cap. And then there's another bushing with the collar. And I think that's it. Decompress these springs real quick. Same thing, you want to alternate back and forth. And so here's our new assembly. Um, I've already put on here the, the new bump stop there in white and uh, the thrush washer there. And then the spring and the, the new dust cover, the rubber dust cover there. Um, so basically to reassemble, uh, you've got to take the, this off. That's your new lock nut. That's a 14 millimeter, I believe. Yeah. We'll check that. Um, so like I said, there's your dust cover and everything, bump stop. So it comes with this washer, uh, put that on. And then after that is... You need to trim that. That's right. So yeah, before we do any more, uh, the old top hat, uh, it's got this accordion material. And if you put this over top, the two kind of bind up together. So right here at the, the top rib, um, you can cut through. And if my wife was here, she would make a straight cut and neat cut, but I'm pretty terrible at this. So I'm just gonna try as best as possible to make it sort of straight. And yeah, this looks a lot better than the, uh, the first time I yeah. did it. Yeah. Improvement. Practice does make a mind <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so that's your, your new top hat um, and spring seat. So once we got that, then the next item is right. the uh, the bushing with the collar, I believe. Is that right? So you have the you have that on. Yeah, this comes with the set, so it kind of explains how everything lines up. That's the back, so that's no good. Oh shit! There you go. <laughs> My bad. That, there you go. All right. Yeah. So after this washer is uh, the collar and uh, bushing. Those two go on there. Yeah. This is from the old part? That's the old part, yeah. yeah. This is from the old one. Then your top hat. Make, yeah. And so you, you've got your spring seat down in here. Um, so you want to try and line that up as best as possible with the, the new spring. So there's a, that's where the old spring ended. So try and line that up kind of with your new, new spring get that groove lined up well I guess it's not gonna line up until we raise it up so yeah we'll get there um, and then on top of that is our right here okay. the other bushing um, and it's kind of chamfered down to where it sits inside this little groove and then your uh, washer goes on top and then your your new lock nut and this one is a 14 millimeter, and 
basically hold it down. I think we're supposed to torque it to about 20 foot pounds. And before we do that, we can get this seated properly. So you're just going to spin the upper collar uh, to the right. And that's, that's how you also adjust your ride height. Um, so the old spring sat right there. So that's kind of where we want this to make contact as well. It's got these little notches where the threads are away and you can put a crescent wrench on top of that um, to hold that tight. And so you can get the 14 millimeter box wrench. Is that the 14 or something? Yes, yes. Okay. And get the crescent wrench on here. Got it. All right. Do the final tightening. So that should be good. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, this is where you want to adjust your ride height uh, before you get it positioned. Right now we're just kind of guessing as the first uh, first time installation um, as to exactly what height we want. But we've already installed the uh, driver side and set those for the front at one and three quarter inch, I believe, from the bottom of this uh, to, to the top of that. So the collars. Drawing a blank on that. So. Get the tape measure and we are actually right on it right now. So Sweet. that looks good. So you do want to align. Oh yeah, that's right. Get this aligned properly. So if you look at your, your bolt pattern on top, you see the two, you got two bolts on that side and then one towards, towards this side. Um, so you want to, insert this the same way with this being able to go over the lower control arm. So the way we have it right now is how you want to put it in there. So now, uh, kind of same thing to put it back in. We're going to need to take that bolt back out that we put in before for a temporary support. So that one there. And then you can pull this back out again. You got it, Cole? Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Alright, so I'm going to feed this right past your face. Right. Try and not hit you. You did. Did I? <laughs> Alright. Uh, can... Kiss off the middle. Can you pull it uh, your way a little bit? Sure. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Alright. It, it didn't fall into the right place. Right. Right. No, right. No. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just got you to the face. Alright. Yes. Right. So, you can get that positioned down here and locked over that, and then push down on it. Then we get the bolt holes lined up. Almost, almost. Yep. What was that? Yep. I'm going to put these all the way down, just enough to where it kind of holds it in place. And uh, that way it gives you some slack to maneuver it, get everything lined up down below. So next, you want to position your A-arm back in its groove. This you just want to hand tighten for now. I want to get it all in by hand, and then we're going to jack it up to preload the suspension again before we tighten everything back up. If you grab you grab this and wiggle it back and forth, twist it back and forth like that, down here, it can kind of, that makes it a little easier to work it onto the, the, the arm down here and get the bolt in. Now, we need to jack it up. Back on this bolt on the bottom. So load the suspension. And I'm just kind of estimating exactly what that looks like. That seems about about right, right there. Um, what's that? No, 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 you're good. All right. Um, so now we're gonna fasten the, the two top 17 millimeter air bolts back down. 
torque those to uh, 66. Yeah, 66, I think, pound feet. Just doing the last torque, torquing on the uh, 17 millimeter upper control arm. Did it click? Not yet. No, I was getting on it. There you there go. It is. I had to go buy an aftermarket uh, nut and washer because uh, for some reason mine wasn't on there. But so I've got that on there. Mine's a 19 millimeter. Should be 17 millimeter. Um, Canal's got the torque wrench on the other side. If you want to hold your steady canal, I'll get it kind of tight. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Boom. Oh. So up top, we've got to do uh, those three bolts that are on the top hat. Um, these are 30. I guess I should adjust this. 30 foot pound. Thereabouts. All right, got those three done. All right, so now that we've got both of the front done, uh, put our cross brace back on. So we're done under here. You can close the hood up. Should be good to go. All right. Now on to the back. Love. Here's a picture of Hank yawning. For dismantling the rear. If you come inside, on this panel right here, uh, you've got these little these little uh, pop rivets, and uh, basically what you want to do, I don't have a good place to put the camera, but uh, basically pry up on there um, with the flathead screwdriver. It's going to be depressed down, so you just pry back on it, and these are going to be in these holes here, and then you can just pop them back out. So you'd get the middle part up first, and then you pop the whole thing out. And there's going to be four different holes, one here, 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 and here. And then once, uh, once you've got those off, you can just lift this whole, lift this whole thing up, pull it out, put it off to the side. And then on the, uh, the sides, I've already got this one taken out. Um, this one over here, you've got a few different holes. Uh, there's one here. I think down here there was one. Uh, there's one up here. Uh, one here, and then two down here. And uh, once you have those popped out, you just kind of wiggle it out of here. I actually forgot to record this part, so this is me actually putting it back together. Um, but uh, up top here, once you take that piece out of the trunk, you've got four 14 millimeter bolts uh, at the top of the, the strut hat. And uh, take those off, and um, then that gives you access to two other bolts. Once you have that brace off, then there's two 14 millimeter nuts uh, that tie into the top of the strut, and you can take those off. We had also take, just taken off the, uh, there's a 12 millimeter bolt that goes back here uh, for the ABS line. So now we've got this kind of out of the way. Just want to make sure it doesn't get caught on that when uh, we take the strut out. Sorry for the lawn mowing noise. Uh, we're going to take 17. <laughs> uh, we're going to take the 17 millimeter bolts off the uh, upper control arms here and here. And then that's going to allow this to kind of fold forward and uh, be able to drop the strut down. Before we do this, we need to load the suspension. Uh, Damn. are you tightening, tightening it? No. Yeah. no. I'm, yeah, I'm you pulling mean. it towards me. Uh, so I'm taking uh, it up. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's really tight though. Jeez. We can put the breaker bar on it. Yeah. You got it. Look at that. What a boss. Yeah. All right. Indian honk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So then the other one's back up around here. I don't know that I can get to it. I'm going to have to go under the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Too many things going on. Yeah. Not the best. 
Are you rotating in the right direction? I always get confused, I'll be very honest. Yeah, Akuma, you should be right. I'm asking you to match. It, it budged. So let's it, see if I can get it with my other wrench now. This is for only beaches. There it is. Whew. Dude. Bolt out. God. Holy. Dude. All right. So now we can pull this forward once we lower this. But before we lower this, we need to take the, uh, the bottom uh, 17 millimeter nut off of the yeah. back side of the yeah. shot. You want me to do that? Or you want to do it? No. I can do it, dude. So, I note like from these this exercises, it's you have got to do more deadlifts so that you have more forearm strength. <laughs> because exactly. it is a lot of. Alright, All right. which so side is the. Okay. Back here. See this, this nut right here? It's a 17 millimeter. And uh, impact tool works really well on that. And that should back it right out. And then we can drop it all down. Well, almost. There's one more bolt right here. It's an 18 millimeter. I'm sorry, 12 millimeter bolt, and uh, that'll be the last one you take out to drop it down. I think I have it in there. Yeah. There she blows. Nice. <laughs> Here's the 12 millimeter bolt uh, on the bottom side. That yeah, looks like you're on it, Mo. Hmm? I think you're on it. I'm gonna give it a turn. There you go. All right, so get that bad boy out, and that's gonna be the last. Mo, bolt. I can hold it for you. And you can use Still both Still held hands. on right here. You'll have to no, that's hammer it off of uh, right here. You have to kind of push it over yeah. that way, off the hub. You can pull these arms this way. Kind of it up out of the way over here. So we're getting rid of the old spring and strut. I'm just gonna hold it. There you go. And it's off. Right. And so now when you drop it down, you actually want to drop it. If you can bring it back up over, I'm going to drop it through here where my hand is. Got it. There it is. You can let go, Mo. Thanks. Down through the bottom, watch your ABS line when you do that. And then you got the back one out. Can all got the back one out. <laughs> so... Back the old spring compressor. Lock these bad boys in. All right, once you get the 17 millimeter lock nut off, uh, then you've got these items that come off along with the collar, the bushing, and the top washer. Then you've got your top boot, and if your RX-8 is like mine, <laughs> then there's no bump stop left at all. This is, that's all that's left of my bump stop which is why I've been bottoming out. Or, well, honestly, the spring's probably the reason I've been bottoming out, and it's just eaten away yeah, at my bump stop. Um, so, that's going in the trash. Thankfully, yeah. I have new bump stops. Um, and then there's this other bushing as well. Once you have that off, take the spring, take it out of the shock, and then you can decompress the springs. And we can reassemble the new coilover. So on this one, we've got our new bump stop installed. Uh, we've got the thrust washer at the bottom, the new spring. Uh, and we've got our new washer here. Take the uh, lock nut off. And then, we put on, are we on the right one this time? Yes, sir. Or, okay. <laughs> we are. So then you've got uh, uh. the washer and your bushing. That's not the right one, is it? Is that the right one? I guess so. This came up, this was with that. 
Yeah, see, this should have the collar inside of it. Yeah. This is not correct. I don't know why this is no, inside had, this it, one. Huh? No, it had the collar inside. I know, when I pulled it off, but it's not supposed to. This is the one that's supposed to have the collar inside. Look. Bushing, collar. Yeah, I know, but it's the same... Oh, wait. I think after huh. after you put this on, they then come in contact together. Then uh, you've got your spring seat, which mine looks like the rubber's kind of twisted a bit. You gotta reset that. Floor too. Yeah, the other side was the same. So maybe reset that down in there. If I can get it down in there. Hmm. You see how it's curled up like that? Yeah. yeah. That's the way the old spring sat in there. There we go. So it kind of aligns with these grooves around here, how it's flared out. So get that reset. And then we put that on top over everything. And that. Wow. I don't know, it seems like it's sitting on there properly. There it is. Okay, now it's good. All right, so we've got that on. Next is that bushing, and that washer, and then the top, top deck. And we are fully assembled. Oh. Sort of, we haven't tightened this down yet, but. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Double boom. <laughs> All right, once that's snug, you can get your spring set here. One more turn. All right, that should do it. So now the alignment on this. Uh, so Check these left and rear. These bolts here go in the, your trunk, or basically the back side, and you want this to be oriented in line with that. And you can adjust it once you get it on the car, but it helps to get it kind of lined up beforehand. I think it's getting there. Yeah. Got it. That feels good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're ready to put on the car. <laughs> yep. So we're probably gonna probably need some tools from there too. Feed it back through. Same way, uh, brought it out. So get it back up through there. Watch your ABS line. Look okay, how fun I saw it. Yeah, 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 just push it. I'm just not tightening it. And is it huh? Is it in place? Yeah. It's just like loosely Look at attached it. Nailed it. Wow. That was easy. Um, yeah. We forgot to put these in place first. We only push it towards me. Or inside. There you go. There you go. You got it mm. through. Alright, now this one. Here's the bolt. I need to push it in that way. I can tell. I got this. Kanal's got it. I got it! Uh, Boom! I got boss. Good job. I use my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Ingenuity. All right, so now before we tighten anything down, uh, we're going to jack the hub up and uh, then we will tighten everything down in reverse order. Back on the back side, the 17 millimeter bolt on the back side here goes back in and torque that bad boy down. Um, and then we've got our 12 millimeter back up here as well. And then inside the trunk, there's the two four, or four 14 millimeter that you reattach up top um, on the brace. And then there's also the, the two 14 millimeter on the bottom side of the strut. And tighten all those up. I think we're good to go. Matt. There's the ABS line as well. load up the suspension so now we can torque down the uh, 17 millimeter bolts all around 
It's at 80? 80. 80. You can barely work this right. It's tight. There it is. Awesome. 80. Alright, alright. I'll set the next ones up. Alright, so we got this guy torqued down to 70 foot pound. And Canal's working on tightening the other upper control arm. And that also gets torqued to 70 foot pound. Almost there. Nice. Alrighty then. So we got both the 70s. And we got and the, the bottom 17 80. as well. At 80. We just need this. We gotta torque this guy down up here. 30 foot pound. You sure? Yeah. Alright, then we uh, get our ABS line back in. So that's the 12 millimeter. The canola is getting in. Doing a really bad job of it. <laughs> Then you put the tin up there. Oh, you can drop this the jack down. Lower the jack. Oh, uh, the nifty jack. <laughs> the nifty jack. <laughs> I get a grip on it. All right. Come back into the trunk. There All right. And then the one back behind it. And we can put this back up. Oops. So this plate goes on here. I can hold this. Alright, thanks man. So we put this piece back in. Somehow. holes to line up this part. And we got our fasteners. Start popping in. Alright, so before you put these back ones on, put this thing into position. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Because <laughs> the four holes closest along here, also fasten this in there. Now we can fasten these. Moment of truth. Yep. 99% sure we're gonna have to jack it up again. And yeah, reset it all. Let's just make it 100, dude. Open. Do I? <laughs> said let's just say 100. <laughs> It's not Maybe bad at all, all, dude. I kind of like that. And this looks much better in the front. This does look better. I can't. Ah. You okay, dude? <laughs> That's exactly what was happening. Oh. What happened? I felt it. Felt good. Oh sh Huh? Dude, if you don't get injured, you haven't properly worked on your car. It's like, like yeah, it. that's what Matt says, don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs>